Are you frustrated with online dating? Confused by all the new apps and fancy dating sites? Do you find yourself choosing the wrong person again and again? Well, studies show that hiring a dating coach can maximize your online dating experience. So no worries, I've got you. And I've created a virtual course called Doing Dating Right. It's a five video series that you can complete at your own pace in your own space, right at home. How to write your online dating bio, pick that perfect picture, and so much more. Want more info? Go to my website at jenniferherbits.com. Again, it's jenniferherbits.com. Good morning, good morning. This is Doing Relationships Right. I'm Jennifer Herbitz. I'm your host every Tuesday and every Friday for a Just Jen episode. My favorite, my favorite. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome, welcome. It's Friday, Friday. Micro episode, Just Jen. Let's jump right in today. I'm excited to talk about dating, 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 and more dating Um, because I've gotten a lot of questions about this topic. Jen, why aren't you talking about dating on your podcast? Why aren't you talking about what to do and how to write our bios and blah, blah, blah. And you know what? I haven't talked about it this season yet um, because I have this online dating course and I figure everybody is bored of me. So I don't know. I guess I'll just do it right now. We'll just jump in and do a couple things. But I want to talk about a different side of, of the dating um, for everybody. This is for everybody, not just people dating after divorce or dating before marriage, for everybody. Um, I think dating is, is scaring people and people are scared of dating. And I don't blame you. And I want to tell you that you're being heard. And I'm validating your feelings, everybody, everybody or you, you, I'm validating your feelings, whoever's listening. Um, dating is a scary thing. It's, it's a scary thing at 20 years old. It's a scary thing at 40 years old. It's a scary thing at 60 years old. When you put yourself out there and you, um, you have to be vulnerable and you have to learn to trust someone, uh, whether your baggage is brand new or your baggage is from a 13-year marriage, or your baggage is from two divorces, or your baggage is because you're a widow. Um, It's baggage, right? And you have a past. And I really feel like it's important that people stop judging each other um, for the baggage that they are carrying. And everybody has baggage, and we all need to to unpack it, right? And I, I think that what the most important thing that I want to share today and, and get across to you is that when you go on a date and you sit across the table from someone, um, automatically you both should assume that you are nervous and that this is something that's that's not easy and that you both have baggage because I don't care what anyone says, you have baggage. Even if you've never been married, you have baggage. Even if you've never been divorced, you have baggage. It's about finding the person that's willing to unpack it and share theirs, okay? So some people, my clients say to me, you know, like their big, I ask them their biggest fears. We always talk about their biggest fears about dating and what they're most apprehensive about. And a lot of them say it's about trusting themselves, trusting themselves to make a good choice in a partner because they haven't before right? Their past partners, they've been hurt or they've been lied to, or they feel like they've been manipulated. They didn't trust their gut. Um, even me, right? Uh, when I was dating after my divorce, I, I had horrible, I made horrible choices. So to, to go out back out there to trust myself again, it's a big thing. So not only are you trusting the person sitting across the table from you and, and you have to open up and trust this person, you have to trust yourself, right? So it's hard. It's hard to be vulnerable and it's hard to trust your instincts because they sucked so bad the first 25 times, right? So everybody needs to take a deep breath when you're dating and you need to trust the process, okay? And that's why, I know I know, I did a podcast on why you need a dating coach, why you should hire a dating coach. And I was like, oh, you need a cheerleader. You need someone in your corner. Really, I feel like you don't need a dating coach. You don't need a therapist. You don't need whatever to date, but you just need to trust. If you don't trust who you are as a, you know, your gut, if you, if you can't, then you kind of do need someone because, you know, you need that extra, that extra person to help you out, but you need to trust yourself. So if you don't know who you are as a person, how can you know, expect anybody else to know or want to know who you are, right? Um, putting yourself out there into the world 
and putting yourself on a dating app. Oh my God, y'all. It is not easy. You are being heard. I'm validating your feelings. It is a scary, scary place. And for those of us who are like, oh, it's no problem. I love dating. Dating's awesome. I'm the, I'm the best dater. That was me. I was like, oh my God, I could talk to a wall. Dating, I date like a pro. This is my full-time job. I was full of shit, okay? I was hiding behind a facade because I was scared out of my mind to be vulnerable and to say to someone, dude, I'm horrified that I have to do this again. I'm horrified that I have to sit across the table from someone and, and, and spill my guts and tell my story and let you know that I'm going to be honest with you. And if you don't like it, you could walk away. Do you see what I'm saying? So there's always that like, you got, I mean, it's just, I'm, I'm being vulnerable with you today. I'm sharing with you today why I was so, I was, it's horrifying. It's, it's just, it really is. So not only do you have to feel vulnerable and you have to trust the person across the table, you have to trust yourself. You also have to feel safe on these dating apps. Then there's that whole other part of it, right? So you have to feel safe with yourself. You have to feel safe with your partner. You have to feel safe with your instincts, right? And then you have to feel safe and confident enough to go on these dating apps. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's not easy. So you, if you need help and you are, you want to find your person, get, get a friend, get a dating coach, hire, you know, really reach out to someone because I got you. I mean, it, it is just, it's, it's, it's a shit show. I don't blame you, right? Um, but these dating apps, they're much better now. Don't be scared. They're much better, whether you're 20 or you're 60. Um, I've, you know, I just had the metery. The metery was on. The girls are phenomenal. These two women who created this app, the metery, filter off, s'more, um, hinge, okay, cupid, uh, match is still good. They're good. They're good, strong dating apps where I feel like you really can feel safe and confident with um, the infrastructure. I think it's great. Uh, you know, a lot of my clients coming to me, they're like, look, my self-esteem is low. Um, my self-confidence, I have zero self-confidence. Um, I get it. I get it. I mean, you've, oh, I mean, how many times can you be broken up with or shot down before you feel comfortable trusting someone again? I get it. So I just wanted to share that today. I wanted to let everybody out there know that you are heard. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing you loud and clear. Dating, it, it, it sucks. It, it can seriously suck until you find the right person. And until you find a person that, that really meshes with who you are, it sucks y'all. I get it. Dating, it, it, it just sucks. So let me give you a couple tips, okay? A couple tips for some online dating success or just some dating success. Can I talk? Success in general, okay? The first thing is, oh gosh, the first thing is try with all of your heart, with all of your being to be positive. If you can't be positive, okay, even though I'm just being so negative saying it sucks, Say it to yourself, listen to my podcast, call me a bitch. But when you go on that date, if you're going to put yourself out there on a dating app um, and your first sentence is, I don't know why I'm here or, um, you know, dating sucks, but blah, blah, blah. Look it. I don't know why you're, if you started a dating app with like, you know, I don't know what I'm doing here. Dating sucks. Like the person reading that is also on the dating app. So they're going to think, you know, like, what are you, why are you saying this? Right? So you want to put your best self forward. Even if you're, if you're, you know, your self-esteem is low, even if you have low self-confidence, even if you're not, if you're unsure of yourself and you're walking on thin ice and you're just, you're, you want to put your best self forward. Okay. You want to give it your best shot possibly that you possibly can so that you don't waste your time, um, getting matches that are just ugh, yuck. Okay. So if you feel negative in a negative space, don't do it. But when you're positive and you're in a positive space and you're ready to date, get out there and do it and be positive and start that bio with something, get help, get help with your bio. I mean, your bio is super important, right? I'm not talking about your whole profile. I'm talking about your, actually your bio that you write, um, whether you get three sentences or, or five sentences or whatever it is, those are important sentences. Those, that, that's your, that's what you got. That's all you got, right? And those pictures are super important, which I'm going to talk about next. Those pictures, that first picture on your, your profile pic, that one that's out and everyone sees it, you better be smiling. 
you better not be wearing sunglasses. There's no fish holding pictures. There's no dog holding pictures. There's no, I don't want you at a selfie. I want a face picture of you smiling. Very few filters, please. We don't need to look it. I got news for you guys about the filters. I'm freezing. I have to put on my on a, on a coat. Um, it's cold out here. Anyway, so yeah. So here's the thing about filters. If you don't think that guys know, women, that you're using filters, ding dong, you're wrong. Okay? Filters, everybody knows you're using a filter. So when you show up on your first date filter free, you better know that you are showing up uh, about as vulnerable as you can possibly be. Because that man that saw you, um, or that woman that saw you guys that are using filters, they know that you're that you're going to be your true self when you show up. You're better off doing a light makeup, you know, nice hair, not a you know made up blah blah blah. Because that is, you want to be who you are, right? You want to you want to be the person that you're going to show up on that date. Because why 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 be fake? Why be something different than you than than you are? Because you're just starting off on the wrong foot, right? Tell your age. Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm 49 years old and I'm blah, blah, blah. Like, be who you are. Own it. Stand in your space. You've got this. Okay? You have got this. Stay positive. Pick good pictures. Have a strong bio. Um, but don't share too much. Oversharing on a bio, oh, for the love of uh, all things holy, call me. I will help you. You are like an ooey gooey chocolate candy with an ooey gooey, hard candy shell with an ooey gooey center. That's what I tell my clients. Hard candy shell with an ooey gooey. You want someone to have to suck on that candy for months before they get to that ooey gooey delicious yummy center. Does that make sense? That ooey gooey yummy delicious center is the goodness in your heart and your soul. No one needs to hear that on the first date. No one needs to read that gooey yummy delicious stuff on your profile. No one needs to know anything about you and your gooey, ooey center, okay, quote unquote, that soul part of you until a month in. They need to earn that, okay? That partner, that person that you're dating needs to earn your trust and then earn that information, okay? You want to talk about your kids and tell a good story about your childhood and blah, blah, blah. That's something that you, that someone earns, okay? You don't write that on your bio about your your Prozac or your, you know, you lost your, your husband in a blah, blah, blah. That stuff is something personal or private that you share with someone when you're face to face and you trust them. Okay. I hope that makes, that makes sense. It's something so important to me. Like, I feel like sometimes I read bios and the people are like, you know, spilling their guts on these bios. And I'm like, why, why leave something un unshared, leave something under, you know, that someone has to find out about you. There should be mystery, a little bit of mystery in your bio, right? Something interesting. Leave them, leave them wondering. Leave them wanting more. Leave that first date where you've been talking and, and then you leave. You know, it's a half an hour. It's 30 minutes. It's not three hours. Let them want more, right? So that when you text later on, you say, thank you so much for that date. They say, you know what? I loved it. Let's go out next Tuesday. Not that you've been with each other for three hours and they're bored already and, they're, and they know that they don't, you know, that they're done with you. Leave them wanting more, okay? Um, I think that's all I'm going to leave with you guys today. I mean, I feel like, you know, having a strong online dating bio, being positive, being confident, that's one thing I'm going to leave you with, being confident. If you can be confident, even if you're not, wear, wear something that makes you feel sexy. Guys, if you feel confident in a certain pair of boots or women, you feel confident in a black blazer or a good, like, shade of lipstick that makes you feel sexy, confidence is everything. A smile is confident. Holding your shoulders back shows confidence, right? Slowly talking. Talk slowly. When you talk slowly, it shows confidence. You know what you're talking about. You're an expert in the field and people will listen to you. Take a deep breath. Be calm. Be engaging. Ask questions. Be interested in what the person across, across the table is saying. Actively listen, okay? Don't be a, a conversational narcissist, okay? When someone's speaking, don't have something in the back of your head that you're already ready to say, okay? Just let them speak, listen, take it in, and respond. 
Okay. Talk less, listen more. So important. Those are some tips from me. Um, I hope this helps today. And I hope that dating isn't, you don't hate it. I don't want anyone to hate dating. I, I love what I do. I love talking about dating and relationships. I, it's, it's my, I just love it. I finally found something that I love um, besides dancing and DJing and my children. So um, if you have any questions, please reach out to me always. Uh, you know where to find me, jenniferherbits.com or my Facebook group, which is private. And I love that. Uh, Doing Relationships Right Facebook group uh, podcast. And I'm on Instagram. I'm all over Instagram. I love that 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 place. Instagram is my is my jam. So find me. I'm around. I love you. Have a great weekend. Do something fun. And uh, that's it. Peace, love, and so much truth. Goodbye, you. Goodbye, goodbye. Have a great weekend.